Hey there everyone, it's Ravindra Devrani and I have come back with another video. I hope all of you guys are doing fine. If you find this video helpful, then please hit that like button. It really motivates me to create more content. So today we will learn how to deploy our .NET 6 application into local IIS server. So let's get started without any delay. To deploy your application on local IIS server, you have to enable some features. So type here control panel and programs and features then click here on turn windows feature on or off so click here then click on internet information services and when you click on it then make sure that this IAS management console must be checked and then click on OK and it will enable your features. So after enabling your features, you have to download ASP.NET Core 6.0 Runtime Windows Hosting Bundle Installer. I will put that link in the description box. So do not worry about that. OK, and after that, move to the Visual Studio and here right click on your project then click on publish and we are going to select folder and here okay let's assume that we are going to publish our file inside the published folder and we will create a folder here which will be yt movie api published and let's copy this path and it will automatically create this folder if it does not exist in your computer so do not worry about it okay then click on finish then close okay now it is ready to publish so let's publish it so our files have been published okay and we can see that they are published here so copy this location and right here inet manager inet mgr and click on iis manager okay here right click here on the sites folder and add new website and let's name it yt movie apis and it is a physical path that we have copied earlier and let's change the port port 88 and please guys do not use this port 87 otherwise you will get a port 88 okay now click here on application pools and here yt movie apis click on advanced settings and change its identity to local system then click ok now here manage website and browse And it is saying that this localhost page cannot be found so here type weather forecast and our website is working perfectly but we need to give permission our database so let's close it for now now we don't need it and open the SQL server and inside the 
SQL Server. Click on Security tab. Click on Logins. And here, Anti-Authority System. Here in User Mapping and select your database. It is our database YT Movie DB. And here, click on this dot 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 icon and click on Browse. And let's give it a permission of DB owner. Okay. And here also select DB owner. And now we are good. We have given permission to our database. So here let's test it in our postman and it is our login API endpoint. So let's try to log in. Okay guys, that's it for now. And if you find this video helpful, then please hit that like button. It really encouraged me to create more content for you guys. So see you in next video.